How do your lungs remember to breathe when you're asleep? How does your nose tell you that cookies are baking in the kitchen? These things are all handled by your nervous system, which is a network of organs and nerves that send signals throughout the body. Human nervous system consists of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is composed of brain and spinal cord. Peripheral nervous system consists of a network of nerves which connect the central nervous system to all parts of the body. Neuron or nerve cell is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system. All parts of the nervous system are made up of neurons. Neurons transmit messages in the form of electrochemical waves called nerve impulses. The part of a neuron which contains nucleus and most of the cytoplasm is called cell body. The fine projections of the cell body which receive messages are called dendrites. A long projection of the cell body which conducts messages away from the cell body is called axon. Terminal ends of the axons transmit the messages to the next cells. A junction between two nerve cells consisting of small gap is called synapsis. When the nerve impulse reaches the terminal end of axon, chemical messengers called neurotransmitters are released. These chemicals binds with receptors on the membrane of second neuron. The binding of neurotransmitters stimulates the second neuron to transmit an electrical impulse along its axon. The signal therefore has been carried from one neuron to the next. On the basis of their functions, neurons are of three types. Sensory neurons, interneurons and motor neuron. Sensory neurons carry nerve impulses from sense organs. Skin, ears, nose, eyes, tongue, etc. to central nervous system. Motor neurons carry nerve impulses from central nervous system to effectors, muscles and glands, that is the parts which respond. Interneurons are present in central nervous system. They form a link between sensory and motor neurons. Sensory neuron carry nerve impulse from eye to central nervous system. Interneurons form link between sensory and motor neuron. Motor neuron carry nerve impulse to muscles. Central nervous system acts as a control center of the whole nervous system. It comprises brain and spinal cord. Human brain consists of billions of interneurons. It is divided into the following parts. Forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain. Forebrain is the largest part of the brain. It consists of three main parts. Cerebrum, thalamus and hypothalamus. Cerebrum is the topmost and the largest part of the brain. It is divided into right and left cerebral hemispheres. Cerebrum controls many actions like thinking, emotions, seeing, hearing, memory, speech, etc. Inside cerebrum there is small structure called thalamus. It controls many sensory functions. Hypothalamus lies at the base of thalamus. It controls body temperature, hunger and thirst. Midbrain is a small part of the brain which is present below the cerebrum. It receives information from sense organs which is then passed on appropriate part of the forebrain. Hindbrain consists of three parts, that is cerebellum, pons and medulla oblongata. Cerebellum are involved in maintaining the body balance. Pons controls many functions like sleep, swallowing, equilibrium and taste, etc. Medulla oblongata controls heartbeat, breathing and digestion, etc. Spinal cord is an extension of medulla oblongata. It runs backwards inside the backbone up to its lower end. It is also made up of interneurons. Spinal cord creates a link between brain and different body parts. It also controls some reflex actions. An immediate and involuntary response to a stimulus is called reflex action. Quick pulling of hand just after touching the hot object is a common example of reflex action. Temperature of hot object is a stimulus which is received by the cells of the skin. A nerve impulse is created in the sensory neuron present in skin, and transmit to the spinal cord. The interneuron of the spinal cord transmits the impulse to the motor neuron. The motor neuron carries the impulse to the arm muscles. The arm muscles contract and the hand is pulled back. Action controlled by nervous system are voluntary actions and involuntary actions. 
the body actions which are performed under conscious control are called voluntary actions. For example, speaking, eating, reading, walking, running, etc. The body actions which are performed without involvement of thinking process are called involuntary actions. For example heartbeat, breathing, blinking of eyes etc.